going on guys uh i know i don't have the best lighting for uh this video but i was just really excited to do a video of my truck uh this is this is my new truck uh i'll do a video probably on it soon it's a dark green 96 chevy silverado uh interior's gray like a light gray but uh, i'll show y'all you know more of that later uh, today, you know, with this being my new truck, uh, I wanted to do a video with my everyday, my new everyday dip. So as long as I can find it, this has been my everyday dip and will continue to be as long as I can find it. That is Copenhagen Log Cut. Uh, I don't know what it is really, but uh, Copenhagen Snuff has got a great taste in my opinion. Uh, but I just can't do it. It gets all over my mouth and I just can't, uh, can't keep it in one spot, especially if I'm talking. So, you know, that's uh, not something I can exactly do every day. Cause I talk all the time. So, this log cut stays, you know, wherever I put it. So I can all the log cut stuff, like wintergreen, mint, straight, uh, and stuff, you know, other things like that. So, we got, as always, we got packets of dip here before we get to talking. But I'm going to see if I can do the uh, Mojang Wood thing. Open that thing with one hand there. Get my pitch out. I'll tell you, any guys that uh, like this long cut it is actually a really good thing because uh, the God's Pitch is not in there near as much as other dips. I don't know if y'all can hear it or not. I got music playing. I got it turned down pretty low. But uh, I wanted to have some other noise other than just me breathing and talking. You got notice on the video I went to make before. And uh, you just hear my heavy breathing when I put my dip in. So I figured I might as well try to get a little bit more sound. Uh, the guy who had this truck before, took it to uh, Big M Chevy, out I think it's like in the E-Town, and put tin on the windows. I got like a tin strip up here on the front glass, and then all my other windows are completely tinted. But uh, you know, like I said, that'll be a video for probably, tomorrow morning actually might be when I record it, but probably won't upload it for another day or two uh cope log cut best way i can describe it is if you like the taste of copenhagen stuff and you just can't really control it very well this is a great dip it has in my opinion the same taste as copenhagen stuff Maybe a little bit different, but for the most part, it's that same taste. It is just straight up Copenhagen tobacco. It doesn't have that real sweet flavor that uh, Copenhagen Straight has. And in my opinion, it is just a very, very good dip. I'm trying to adjust that so the glare up from up there ain't too bad. But uh, one problem that this has uh, pitchability is great. It pitches fine. However, it does. Let me rephrase that. It packs well. It doesn't pitch the best. It's kind of goes real loose when you pitch it. So you'll see when I have this in, I do a lot of that. I do a lot of pushing it around with the with the tongue, making sure it stays packed good in your lip. Because, you know, when you pack it in the can, it packs great. I mean, just as good as anything else. But when you want to pitch it, it just, you know, becomes loose. Like everything does, it comes a little loose. But this stuff just comes a lot more loose than, uh, like, Copenhagen Wintergreen and Copenhagen Mint and Copenhagen Straight. 
So you really gotta like push it up against the side of the can like you do with Cope Snuff. Uh, as does Cope Snuff, this comes in that fiber uh, board can or whatever it's called. Uh, makes it dry out quicker. So that's the one problem I have with it. I can't buy a log at a time because I don't dip it enough to go through a log before it gets dry. Actually, I might, but uh, the problem I have with it is I can't dip that at work. As I said, it doesn't stay together as well as other ones when you pinch it and put it in. It gets more in your teeth because it's kind of looser. Uh, there's really th only three uh, Copenhagen's that do that, in my opinion, and that is Southern Blend, Snuff, and Long Cut. Those three, they pack just as fine, but when you go to pinch it, they're really loose. Now, no Snuff is loose because it's so fine cut, but these other two, I think it's just the way they're made. When you go to pinch it, they go really loose, in my opinion. They don't pack down tight as well as other dips do. Spitter of the day today is the Taco Bell medium sized drink. I uh, just had some Taco Bell. Gonna go work out here in a minute. I'm at, actually at the gym here. Out here in the parking lot. Uh, do a lot of my videos at night, obviously. I don't have a lot of time during the day. I work, so. Friday's gonna be a good video. That actually may be when I do a little bit more of the recording with the truck. I might do it tomorrow, I might do it Friday. Uh, today is just Monday, but uh, tomorrow will be the first day I get to drive the truck to work. So I won't be getting up at five o'clock in the morning. So there's a very good chance that I could sleep in until it is time to go to work. So we'll see what time I get up. Uh, if not, I know, uh, where was I going with it? Oh yeah, Friday. Uh, my high school, or my old high school, I graduated last year, repping the Holy Cross hoodie, my football hoodie. But uh, they got uh, the last home game of the regular season, possibly the last home game for the whole season. Uh, they got that this uh, this week. So we're going to go watch them. And I plan on whatever time I get off work, which I'm not scheduled to work at all Friday. But I need the hours because I have to make payments on this truck. So, whatever time I get off, if I get to work, I'm going to go straight to Holy Cross and start tailgating. So that might be when I do the recording for the truck, show you all the truck and everything. Just depends uh, what's going on. But I mean, I'm getting there to tailgate early. So, I think the game's at like 7. I plan on getting there. If I get off at work at 2, I'll be there by 3. If I get off at work at 3, I'll be there at 4. Most games that I tailgate, I get there about 5.30. So, I'm getting there pretty early today. Or Friday, that is. Uh, it's uh, just... Man, this truck is just awesome. But, uh, anyway, back to the log cut. If, Like I said, if you like the flavor of stuff, but it gets all over your mouth and you don't like it because it's so fine cut, Cope Long Cut is the way to go if you can get it in your area. Uh, I really do love the taste of this stuff. And I'm hoping, I've heard it's a seasonal dip. I hope not. I'm hoping it's still around when I go to uh, my family reunion next year or just the next family get together we have because I got a cousin that dips Cope straight and he laughed at me when I was dipping Cope Mint. He said, well, at least you're dipping Copenhagen, but that's still that wussy stuff, that flavored dip. If I could get him to take a picture of that long cut, I think he'll understand he's still dipping flavored stuff just because he's doing straight. He's still dipping that sweet straight stuff, but I enjoy uh, the flavors, at least of wintergreen and mint. Uh, straight I did that for about two weeks was my everyday dip uh, but uh, you know I kept going back to that wintergreen a bit and sometimes bittergreen that might be a video I do on the channel just mixing the two together but uh sorry I keep you know wipe my nose but my allergies are just killing me tonight 
I haven't got to take an allergy pill this evening. I normally take two, take one in the morning, take one in the evening. And I got to take one this evening yet, so I ain't been home. As soon as I got back to the house, I hopped in the truck, drove it around. First off, got to drive it, so I, you know, <laughs> I wasn't worried about going to take that pill. But uh, anyway, that, that long cut, man, it's just, this is literally, it's been my everyday dip. Uh, first time I saw it was, see, I seen videos on it about a month ago and about a week after I saw the first video on it, I noticed that we had it at my work at Kroger, so I was like, hey, let me get a can of that to try it. I liked it, so I ended up getting uh, two cans of it before I went dove hunting uh, two weeks ago. Dipped one can in about a day, and the other can lasted me a couple of days. Went back to work, bought me uh, bought me two more cans of it, went through those pretty quick. Picked this one up today for the video. Uh, but yeah, uh, this stuff, definitely if well, they keep keep selling it at my Kroger and I'll definitely keep buying it, that's for sure. I'm uh, really hoping that uh, Cope uh, Black or Cope Whiskey is gonna come out soon. Whatever it is that they're gonna come out with. I'm hoping that's coming out soon so I can try it. But uh, I don't wanna make this video too long, guys. So I think that's gonna do it. Uh, hopefully y'all will like the little vlog I do with the truck just to show y'all the truck. It's a really good truck. Uh, guys took really good care of it. So, uh, stick with us. That'll be in the next few days. Uh, as always, guys, down in the comments, comment what you're dipping on. If it's Cope Log Cut, awesome. Uh, like, comment what you're dipping on, and please subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you for watching.